dark it's five o'clock I went already for a walk with the goats you saw I made cookies something else oh yeah the goats were sleeping really cute this morning and I already went for a walk with them and we got a bit destructive because they were super cute and we gave them apples and they got super excited and we were just laughing <laughs> so now we're here if you didn't see yesterday's video the Q&A uh, we made a couch started the couch. yeah started the couch and if you're not interested in watching the Q&A maybe, you can see the first one minute of the video, we shall hope we make it. So in case you want to see it. There and will be a full video of it as well, so don't worry. Yeah, yeah, we're going to just but make a not full so video overall, but now we're just filming every day and vlogging. So we're going to do step by step and what we do, but there's going to be some important things that we do, such as couch, countertop and other things maybe. We're going to do also like a full video just on them, not just cut out pieces in case you miss something or you don't watch one video. Don't worry, we're gonna make one full video from each thing. And guess that if you watch the QA, we were looking at the countertop. We were talking about it. So Imagine if it breaks now. <laughs> that's how it looks. I mean that's a bad side. That's the bottom that was flat on the OSB. Yeah, it's still not straight because a lot of people commented and I also was a bit annoyed that we didn't do it that way. Uh, but it's still not straight, so. No problem. It would still need work, yeah. Yeah, you still need the sandpaper. And it's actually worse it got because it was sticking on the OSB. Just got the glue a bit messed up. Compared to the other side, I don't know if you can... Carefully the long part, yeah. <laughs> That's the fragile part. That's a good side. I think it looks quite cool. I looked in a lot of videos of how to make a butcher block countertop. And I really didn't find anything I liked because everyone is just using new wood and they use like that part of a wood, this, the new ones. And I was like, that's not really what I want. And I was scrolling through the videos on YouTube and because David changed the thumbnail or did something, I <laughs> went to our video. I was like, oh yeah, that's how I want it. And I opened it and it's our video. So I didn't find anything like that, like I wanted. So I guess we're going to fight it through and see if it works out. But I really, really, really love it. And I'm gonna work hard to make it look like that because I don't want to make like big long pieces. I really like how it looks. I feel that it's really unique. But we're gonna leave that aside. We're gonna put it back there after. And uh, what else did we do? David vacuum clean today in the morning while I was making cookies. Does not look any better, but uh, <laughs> you can see there's the change, the darkness, and then it goes to the concrete oh, yeah. color. There you can see it. And we have the heater running all day. We are on 11 degrees in here. And because that needs to dry. Don't, don't worry about the foam there. I was trying to make it not... Yeah, why did you put it there? The air to go up so oh. it gets stuck and the thing dries oh, faster. I'm so confused why the thing is there. But uh, I don't want to crack it so I just removed the heater from there. 
And one more thing that we did yesterday before we start the Q&A that we didn't show, we put up a curtain. <laughs> we put up the curtain from our van. Um, I would like to buy a bigger one, a longer one, not only for now but overall, just to have not a lot of degrees difference, but at least like two, three, four degrees. Because the heat it makes a big off. difference. It already makes a big difference. If I put my hand here, it's way colder. So that's really good. A lot of people might say, why are we not putting a door? First, I don't want to ruin the beauty. And as you might see, it's like all the way up and you can see the beam. So either it you needs an arc. put a big door or you make an arc. So we're going to leave a curtain. Maybe curtain is easier. We can always remove it in and summer. We always, and we can always put it aside. And maybe in summer it's also cool because it's going to keep here the cold. And you can put mosquito heat. net as well. Mosquito net, yeah. And leave the door open and windows Fly open net. there. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna maybe. I want to put a curtain, so if we find the curtain, that I is think that curtain right? will look nice. And uh, we and also we want temperature like to be there because if we put a door, the difference yeah, the between difference temperatures will be, like be giant 10 degrees, 15 degrees. We still want there the, the heat to go because we have our bathroom and we need to wash the bathroom. We don't want it to be freezing cold, but you want this warmer, but you want this warmer, and you don't mind going in the bathroom when it's two degrees less. If that makes sense, and I know for my mom, we also have a curtain because we have a two story apartment house. She also has a curtain and I know that makes a big, big difference. She just told me why you're not know, putting a curtain. I was like, I don't have a curtain. And they, uh, when they brought the curtain... Yeah, I realized we have one. It's yeah. not really fitting it's the really best, big, but I mean, yeah. You can see that all the top is open. Like, it, the air can still travel yeah. through. And it's so much bigger difference of heat. In the future, we're going to put a curtain rug here. Yeah, so properly done. always just put it aside and just make it a bit more beautiful, you know, like... Yeah, we need to, need to buy nice curtains. Because now you need to do like limbo to get through. Yeah. And let's go over to our today project, which is the door, our beautiful door, which is letting all the cold in. Yeah, it's oh, all, it's well, now it's dark outside, you cannot see the gap. Yeah, no, I mean, you can see the dark as well, if I smooth it, or if I open it, maybe? No, not really, you cannot see. Yeah. But in the day, you can see the light shining through. Yeah. So it's pretty bad, the amount of And on the bottom, there's and everything. We want to keep the door. I mean, we cannot afford another door for now, but overall, I would love to keep it. And there were some comments saying, please don't remove the old door. No, I want the old you door. You were not going to see this side, sadly. But all those cool thingies there, no, those will stay. We're going to take everything off. That's the project today, taking everything off and putting it back on. So, I love the pattern on the outside. That's the reason we're keeping it. Yeah, <laughs> not for the inside. For the outside, I really love the outside of it. And in the inside, I have some really cool ideas. I was Pinteresting around. If we don't forget, we can maybe put you some pictures around the video. But yeah, let's get started. Whew, I blubbered for a lot, no? Six minutes. Oh my, oh my god. So, first thing we need to do, we need to lift the door off the hinges. So we can start working on it. The door is going to get a lot of changes. Uh, this side, for example, is a plain wood knot. It was lacked or something was on it long time ago but it's all nearly faded away and if you don't put anything it's an outside door it's gonna get destroyed and rotten away and also we need to waterproof it with uh, a coat of lacquer so it cannot get mo uh, moisture inside and comes in through the door or leak on the floor or anything so it needs yeah. to be well done so i'm gonna take it off the hinges it's very very heavy and very old it's gonna get <laughs> even more heavier but i think we're gonna do it when it's on the door already, so we don't need to lift up the heavy door. The yeah, hinges. I think we're gonna do it straight on the door, yeah. yeah. The hinges are gonna get changed, I'm really sad about that because I really like... We're gonna keep them, no? Um, really not possible way to keep them. They do have new versions of these, but uh, they're not, 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 not a cheap thing. Maybe actually the way we're gonna do it anyways... The hinges will be fully hidden, we could put yeah. these maybe as a decoration hinges. But the way we wanna do it on the inside, it's not really gonna fit the side, so we will see. Yeah, we'll we see how see. it all comes out. You can always add them. That's that's cool. I mean, are you okay? Maybe. Okay. Did you do a contour? Sideways. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. Make it like that. Yeah. So I can lift it. Yeah. Great. Oh my god. That's our door. That's perfect. So we got the door in. It's all in. You can see that the bottom. Is extremely rotten. Um, oh my god! Hopefully, it is uh, repairable. Um, maybe we take a cut off and add something uh, else yeah. on the bottom. 
Maybe. Just a little bit of a repair. Uh, so Despero needs to now remove all these tiny things. Um, everything pretty much, yeah, everything needs to come off. This is the only thing that's gonna stay. All these need to be come off. Need all the nails to be out, uh, taken out. This one here I will remove, I think. Okay. It's difficult. Let's get started. Yeah, everything needs to be done. You need to use cross, cross, what's it called? Crowbar on these things or hammer. Because they are nailed in, they're not like uh, this one's with screws. Okay. And this one's with screws. Do I maybe need to put another one? You better come out. You better come out. You better come out. Oh! It did come out. Oh, this one. I guess it's not a job for me. It's cool, I'm doing so. I mean, that's not the most expensive thing to do. Again. No, well, I think we should maybe buy a new one. Not okay, at least we remove this. This is same. An important one. That. That's a perfect hamburg. Oh, so like a burglar to get in from the other side would be ridiculously impossible to pull these out. Ah, oh, here's the rest of This whoever made this hole is a smart smarty pants. So I'm gonna try to take those woods off now. Let's see if I can do it or if I need to tape it. And let's see what's under it. Well, that was easy. There's a bug. There's bugs. Come make this work. There you go. Whoa! I don't want this to uh, Can you face. put your tool under the bar? Wait. I don't want this in my face. Nothing's gonna go in your face. Okay. Oh. You see? There we go. Oh, why in my face? Just take it. What's this one? Oh. You can take it. Take it, listen. a bit faster. I did half of the time I did with a small tool on that piece. You didn't achieve even the, <laughs> the <laughs> color, the same color. Okay. I but guess. be careful, this one is a lot harder to handle. Yeah, I know, but the, it's less annoying because I don't want vibrates. And okay, I but uh, put maybe the speed at full power. bottom is a bit rotten uh, we're gonna do the same that it was done here but do it properly we're gonna cut off all the small woods use the ones that we cut to replace these holes to fill them in and uh, put a wood on the bottom to fully hide the bottom and uh, maybe even make it the same pattern because we have some wood that is that colorish and um, we're just gonna put those in this and sandpaper them together when they're attached okay. right yep 
you can see already the difference between we want to keep it a bit it looks kind of medieval style the like pattern it. i don't know if you can see it looks it like looks orange really and red in the camera. yeah <laughs> it looks more popping but when i keep it like a zebra style wherever it has one when i want to clean it fully and make it look new so we're just yeah. gonna you could never make yeah. it new because it's like oh no you could orangey. no you yeah, could if you go deep there. enough i guess you could, yeah, if you've got a lot, like, accidentally some places. Go. Alright, we should plug it in. Ready? Yep. Okay, so we have our next tool that's been sitting in our cold room, storage room for a few months. We no, not few a month, because a month, we thought yeah. we are going to do the door a bit earlier. Yeah, we were preparing to do the door. So this one we need for the door, and overall it's an amazing tool. It's a router. Um, you maybe have seen it in some of the clips when we did the cold room, but we have not shown it unboxed yet. We have never used it as well. Comes with this nice little box, see? Which has... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some different pieces to use. Really cool. I'm gonna try all of them out. Not today, but overall we will. So let's get this tool out. Of course, I have sneak peeked already. And yeah, that's why it's not coming out. That's why yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I have no idea what extra things I need. I know that I need the router, and that's all I need. So. Oh, look at that jiggly. Made in Netherlands, so it's a Netherlands tool. Very high quality. We decided to buy not just for this time because it was looking a bit too cheapy. Yeah. So we went for firm. This is something you want precise and you want, you, it's not something I'm gonna use, use up in two years. I'm not gonna break it. This is a hard tool to abuse like a drill or any of the other ones which are easy to mess up. Of course, you could run into some nails or screws, but you're mostly going to break the piece instead of the tool because you're not putting any pressure on it. It's just so precise, this tool. So what I, I will need... I still don't understand how it works. I will need... Oh yeah, there's a Netherlands flag. Yes. It's a really nice looking that flag. Are these nailed in? Why are they not coming out? So what are we doing is we are going to put the door deeper into this frame. Right now it's sitting on the end. We're going to make the door a lot bigger. So we want to sit the door much deeper in, so it goes deeper in and not to be so far out because then there's no point of doing the insulation if it just can go all around. So it goes deeper in, we're going to put rubbers in the end, so when it closes it hits the rubbers. That's why we need to put the door deeper in. That makes sense? Yep, and it's going to get bigger because we're going to add woods and insulation yep. and blah blah blah. It's going to get into a modern door. Yep. Do you need headphones maybe? Don't know. Let's see how loud it is. Okay. <laughs> That is satisfyingly smooth. Oh my god. That's how deep we need to go. So I need to go and uh, just like up and down until I Yes, because I did it. not get it. I was like, it's not looking smooth at all. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a curve. But yeah, now I get it. I, d I didn't get how that tool works overall. So yeah, now I'm getting an idea. <laughs>
one line, nearly done. Small amount left, not much. Uh, just the tops and bottoms from the one line that the router cannot reach. And then we need to move on. The top is going to be a little bit hard, but I think, I think it's still doable. And then the other side is the same thing as it was here. Yep, so should be no problem. There's a nail I need to get rid of that. Your hat is a bit full of sodas. Yeah, I keep moving and I see snow all the time. <laughs> it's not snow. As the... what is it called? Two Router. Router doesn't reach that high. Uh, I need to do that part by hand. Which shouldn't be too hard. As long as I have a sharp tool. We need to buy some good ones because we're using some really cheap ones. <laughs> Just keep sharpening them. Not supposed to be sharpened that often. It's stuck behind the top one. It's okay. So the front, we're gonna leave it that pattern. It looks maybe a bit too dizzy in the camera, I don't know. But it has like a cool thing in it. It will be, I don't know. It, it has a cool like silence, that. especially it's gonna get, it's gonna get locked and it's gonna pop even more yeah. that. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna make some wood glue with some sawdust. Someone told us to do that whenever we were doing the beans, um, but we ended up doing cement. So it's a cool technique, maybe it works out, I don't know, for here, for the pieces that are a bit broken because wood glue gets see-through and maybe the wood pieces will blend in. I don't know, I will see, but I'm gonna glue some parts. Uh, maybe I'll also glue this one because it's supposed to be a circle, so I <laughs> can glue maybe that something. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Mix glue and get some sawdust. Dried onions. <laughs> Mix your salad. I mean, you can't do it with fingers. It's just you need to wash them right away. It's washing. Not washing salad. <laughs> it looks also like a yogurt with cereal. because they have replaced it with a uh, uh, concrete uh, which is not the best because it's a bit harder to seal but we're gonna try to seal it somehow awesome. might have to put like a brush or something when the door closes the top of the brush but then you're gonna step on it and destroy it it makes it a bit difficult but uh, oh, will poop we on can it. put the brush on the not the brush but like a rubber maybe on the door anyways um, all the way around is finished I have checked all the corners, the corners I had to do by hand and the bottoms and the I had bottom. to do by hand because yeah. the router cannot get that far deep in, it stops like here so all of that I had to do by hand and uh, I check it with the level and it's all square nicely 
straight. fitting like fits perfectly straight all the lines I managed to cut everything perfectly straight um, and I checked the levels as well and everything is perfectly leveled so not sideways at all <laughs> it's gonna be a perfect door we need to still I need to router out uh, a part for the hinge to go oh, yeah. the hinge is gonna go in here and the other side goes in the door uh, not on there <laughs> And on here. Um, maybe I will route out a part for the key, uh, the lock to go in. Uh, depends how we want to do it. If we want to do it in the wood or if we want to do it out here. But out here is a bit messed up, so maybe it's easier to do it just in the wood. Uh, we need to bring a door. We need to bring the door. Leave Tomorrow it like that. we're gonna bring it and test. No, it. we need a door for the night. Oh, we need the door. For the <laughs> night. Yeah, let's. Because uh, the other one is drying, we're gonna just lean okay. it on. Will you come with me in the seat to yep. bring it? Can you hold it from falling sideways? No. Don't try to catch it, Desi. It's so whispery. No, don't try to catch it. Do it. It's falling. It's literally not gonna break. That's an ugly door. That's a very ugly door. That's why we got rid of it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no, no, no. A sliding door. Good night. You need to get in. Oh, my mom says, uh, they can't get through. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Good night, buddy girly. Oh no, no. We're always gonna go. Knock, knock. I lock, I lock the door. Okay. <laughs> ah, perfect. That's locked. Uh, where's the hinge? Double lock? Yeah, other. Lock number two. <laughs> Safety lock. So we're pretty much attaching it so it doesn't fall with wind, I oh. guess. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this crazy video and we're going to see you tomorrow with the more crazy stuff. A lot of crazy stuff is going to happen before Christmas, but uh, we're yeah, eating we're potatoes. Just gonna, we're just <laughs> going to eat a lot of potatoes and we're mostly going to work through Christmas. So uh, it's okay. that's, that's what we, we get for the house project. <laughs> that's that's, that's okay. pretty much it. Good Hope night. you enjoyed. We're going to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. We're eating potatoes again. Potatoes.